Hey learners, welcome back to Lauren Learns. I don't know what to do with my hands. Anyway, welcome back because today we're going to talk about the curly girl method. And before you sign off, you might be like, I don't have curly hair. I might not even have hair. But you might want to stick around because this could be helpful for someone you know that you could share it with. And anyway, I just wanted to let you know that I also posted about this on my blog at www.laurenlearns.com. Org. So, the Curly Girl Method was written by a lady named Lorraine Massey in the 90s. And I'm kind of bitter because I'm around, I was around in the 90s. Where the heck was I? Why didn't I know about this sooner? Because I spent my life growing up with very poofy hair. I did not look like the Pantene Pro V commercial. And it made me kind of sad. But now I have all the information and I'm excited to equip you and arm you with it as well if you have curly or wavy hair. So my friend Sarah started coming around, hi Sarah, hi. She started coming around with gorgeous waves and it looked so healthy and shiny and I asked her what she'd been doing differently and she's like, yeah, just I've been doing the curly girl method. So I went home and I did the Googler and looked it up and it turns out I had been taking care of my curly hair all wrong. So I stopped brushing it, uh, like completely, I really don't even brush it. I kind of finger comb it in the shower now. I've stopped using all heated tools except my, my blow dryer when I have my diffuser on it. If you saw me on Instagram the other day, I just do it with um, cool low heat so that the curls can dry. Though I think I've also decided I like air drying it better. And now my curly hair routine pretty much consists of washing it every three or four days with a silicone sulfate free shampoo. Those things are really important even though you might think they're not. So sulfates are the really harsh chemical found and it's like a detergent found in laundry detergent or dish detergent and it strips all your natural hair oil out making your hair even drier and Curly hair people know that our hair is already pretty dry and pretty frizzy if it's not taken care of properly. So no sulfates and no silicones. Silicones are also the plastic thing they put in hair products to coat your hair and then no moisture can get in. So it looks really nice but it's not ideal when you're trying to let your natural curls come through. So I've gotten rid of all heat, all silicones, all sulfates and I don't wash as often as I used to because my hair is Doing its, doing its job being healthy and natural. After I wash every three or four days, I do a conditioner. I don't rinse it out all the way. I leave a little bit in and then I use a water-based gel to just kind of lightly coat on the ends with soaking wet hair and I let it air dry and scrunch it with a t-shirt, a cotton t-shirt. And it's like, it's the best thing I've ever done. I'm so thankful I have the information now. Like I said, if you know someone that has curly hair, you could just pass that over to them. Just go, here you go. And it's really, it's changed a lot about how I get ready in the morning. It's not taking as long. I'll, I have found some really awesome YouTuber girls that I'm just like, can we be friends? Can I go to lunch with you? Is that a thing? But India Batson is one and Curly Penny and Curly Susie, they're all fabulous and they all have amazing ideas if you'd like to venture further into the Curly Girl world. But for my channel's purposes, I probably won't be doing too many of these curly haired videos because not everyone I know has curly hair and I'm hoping this can benefit all. Yes, I'm excited to continue learning with you. Go get messy, have fun, learn, do those things, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.